vote 2022 and with the critical midterm elections just nine days away, there's a possible sign Democrats may be worried about the Republicans chances of taking a key Democratic congressional district right here on Long Island. And today they sent First Lady Jill Biden to the island to campaign for the candidate. News 12's Kevin VC is live for us right now in plain view with more on the fight for the third congressional district. Kevin. And Tama, the First Lady says the this congressional district is so important, it could ultimately help determine who winds up in control of Congress. So there was a big get out the vote rally today here at this campaign office. And during that rally, the, uh, the first lady campaigned not only for the congressional candidate, Robert Zimmerman, but also for Governor Hochul. New Yorkers. What you do on November 8th won't just set the course of the future of your state. You'll decide the future of this country as well. First Lady Jill Biden campaigning today alongside Governor Kathy Hochul and Democratic congressional candidate Robert Zimmerman in Plainview. Dr. Biden highlighted the progress she says her husband, the president, has made during his first two years in office and says Zimmerman, if elected, will make sure that work continues. They still have a lot to do, but they're going to need majorities in Congress to do that. This district, this seat, could mean the difference between losing the House and keeping it. The rally comes as polls tighten in races Democrats once thought they'd easily win. Zimmerman has a slight lead over his opponent, Republican George Santos, and some polls show a single digit margin between Hochul and her GOP challenger, Lee Zeldin. It's a, a sign that the Democrats are playing defense right now. Hofstra political analyst Lawrence Levy says the Democratic Party brought one of its biggest weapons, the first lady, to Long Island because Republicans are gaining ground. It's clear that the Republican uh, message on inflation and crime is resonating more with undecided or independent voters than abortion and Democratic values, which is what the Democrats have been uh, promoting. Democrats are concerned about seats that a few months ago they thought they had locked up. The first lady urging everyone in this crowd to encourage their friends and neighbors to get out and vote. This race is going to come down to a few votes. Voting must come first on our to-do list. And to give you an idea of just how crucial ground Long Island has become. Governor Hochul has been campaigning here throughout the day. She attended some church services this morning. 